you guys talk. Just because it's dark, we gotta be without a sound. Say something. Sing. Jack, Hilltop, where are you? Where are we? I like that. Where are we? You better rest, Eddie. Rest down here? On stones at the bottom of a mine? Who can rest? I, I can't stretch out enough. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm all cramped. You guys cramp like you can't breathe? Hey. Hey, the air's going. Jack, it's going. I, I can't catch my breath. You're getting enough to talk. I can't get enough. Come for us. Why don't they come? They will come. They will come. You don't like it here, Eddie? Leave. I get out of here. I'll never go near a mine again. I, I, I can't wait for them to come for us. I, I can't lie like this in a black hole 4,000 feet down like like a light in my own coffin. Eddie, it's bad for you to do this. Then get me out of here. Get me out. Get me out. <laughs> Theater 5 presents A Little Piece of Candle. Eddie! Oh, nothing to drink, Miles. Nothing, no water. Eddie, are you awake? Are your eyes open? Huh? You hear me now? Oh. oh. Are we out? Can't we get a light? Aren't we out? Didn't they come for us? No. We're still in, still in the dark. No, no, they came for us. I heard them. They were banging on the rock. No, Eddie. You were dreaming. What do you mean, dream? I heard them. They, they said, take it easy. They said, oh, oh, my, my head, my head, where, oh, what's on me? Look, my, my face is all sticky. What's on me? What, what's on my head? Something crawled on my head. Bandage, Eddie. I put a bandage on. Uh, uh, I couldn't see. I did the best I can. Oh, I, I hit my head? We're out cold. I, I know what ran down my face then, don't I? You'll be all right, Eddie. I, I bet you when we get out of here, my hair's white, dead white. I don't think we are here that long. I meant it's white now, right now. Like, like what, what was that, a joke? Like, 30 years from now, old men with long white beards, we finally... Isn't that funny? One way or another, Eddie, we are down here only a short time. That's not funny, but better, isn't it? Than a long, long time. And I... I dreamed they were here. I, I could hear them talking to us through the rocks. So real. Take it easy, they said. We're almost through. A little while more. Oh, I, I felt so good in my dream. I can't wait for it to be like that. I want this over. Over. No, you stop. No, I can't wait. I can't wait. Please stop. Don't hold me. Stop. Don't hold me. Eddie. We're down here. Here. Here we are. Down. Please. You, you bite on something. It'll help you stop. Now bite. Bite! Bite! I can't. I can't. Oh, you must. What you do is like a disease. I catch it from you, Jack will catch it from you. We'll kill each other down here, you understand? If I, if I could see something. If I could look at something, like, like a book. Here, take a half a dollar and go to the movie. No, shut up, Jack. Isn't it enough? I'm be quiet nights till they come for us. Suppose they can. What, what if it's more than one big hunk of rock? What if, what if it's a cave-in all the way back down the cross? They can't. They really can't. Now shut up. Shut up. It would be a reason they're still not here, wouldn't it? You want a reason? I'll give you a good one. So he'll chuck and me are gunners. Tough, they say. Too bad. But it's worth it getting rid of that loud mouth Eddie. Let him rock down there, that Eddie. That'd be a reason, too, wouldn't it? Getting rid of you? What did I do to him? What did I do? He's married to my own sister. His kids and mine. You, you think I can help it? You think it's a pleasure for me, the thoughts? Is that all? That's what's bothering you? You got no pleasant thoughts? Be my guest. Like, you, Chuck goes first, and you're screaming your head off. But instead of cutting your throat, I cut mine. And who's left all in the dark with me and El Chuck dead? It is not going to be like that. Now, what are you trying to show us, Jack? How brave you are or how dumb? Well, let him face it. You face it. Now, we'll sit quiet. We got trouble or not. Now, if somebody cracks down here, we got too much to handle. We will all be finished. You understand? We get all out together. At the same time, we'll die all together. 
the same time. Uh, one for all and all for one. Uh, who are you kidding? Even you don't believe that. Uh, let him flip. Let him crack his head again and shut up. You leave him alone. You think you pushed somebody else to die to show you are tough enough to live? You'll die the same time as him and me, baby. Same time, you see, from thirst. Maybe you are tough enough now to be kind. Kind? To a couple of crackpots who tell you nothing but how you'll die? Hey, I, I hear them. What? I hear them. They're coming. You took... Eddie, it's all right. They're coming. You took his check out. Now take it easy. Take it easy. Maybe you'll take it easy, too. Now, if you all bust loose... Don't you want to bust loose, you Chuck? Put your ear down, you darn fool. Right on a stone. Right on it. Are you doing it? You got your ear down? You hear? Walter. No, no. Man. Man walking. Man walking. Close. Man coming close, walking in the tunnel. Here. Here. They stopped. They heard it. They heard it. Bang it again. What'd he say? One of them yelled. What'd he say? No. They know. They are coming. I don't understand. So you're safe. Eddie, we are going to be safe. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter? Who cares what's the matter? Just keep banging that rock. Eddie, you keep your ear down. Put it right down on the cave. Yeah, that's where I got it. That's where it's been. What's the matter? They're not out there. They're not coming down. What are you talking about? They're coming up. They're under us. Jack. Jack, I can see you. I can see you. He'll chuck. He'll chuck. Mother in heaven, I can't stand this. For real, Jack, for real. Like, like you cut out of black paper. You, you got one hand on top of your head. He'll chuck. <laughs> yes. Yes, I see. Behind you is the light. Now look, look, look. It's getting brighter. We see your light. We see your light. It's shining up through a hole. Let me over there. Let me over there. Here. Here. Move it. This way. More. More. That's it. Oh, it's shining right in my eyes. You got it right in my eyes. Can you see the hole on your side? Can you see it? Hey, can you? Hey, you with the candle. You guys down there with the light, can you get us out? Can't you get us out? Hey, who are you? Can't you talk? You guys down there with the light. We'll return to our play in a minute. In the 1900s, cigarettes were considered so new that we used an average of only two packs per person a year. By 1930, that figure rose to 70, and scientists soon became suspicious of cigarettes as a possible health problem. In the 50s, research was going on, both in this country and abroad. By 1962, the average per capita consumption of cigarettes reached 200 packs a year. Something had to be done. One of the reasons for concern is the great increase in lung cancer. In the United States alone, lung cancer deaths have increased from 3,000 in 1930 to 50,000 in 1965. Facts are facts. You can't argue with a fact. You can't ignore it. Or can you? Write for the newest free booklet, Facts About Smoking and Health. U.S. Public Health Service, Washington, D.C., 20201. Let me talk to him. Show over. Let me talk. There's no way out down here. I told you. I told you they're not from up top. Who are you guys? What's your name? Don't move the light. Tell him not to move the light. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the fella. Clem McCaffrey. Big Bill Sawman's here. And Eddie Coleman. Who? Who did he say? Clem McCaffrey. Uh, uh, Big Bill Sawman. Eddie Coleman. You know them? Can you... Can you get up here? You got any tools? Bill Sawman, I think. Must come from the county of the mountain. Hey, you guys! You, you got any tools? No. There's no way out down here. Could you break your way up? You, you got the tools to break your way up? You understand? Clem, you understand? Put your hand down the hole. See what you find. What did he say? What are you doing? You're cutting off the light. Yeah, he's right. I can't see. Get your arm out. Rock. Far down, 
as I can reach. Maybe you could reach up. What for? To shake hands? Foot. Maybe they got foot. I like that light. Tell them to keep shining the light. I... You got any water? Any food? We got nothing here. The rock closed down right behind us. We're locked in a pocket. Maybe they got none they can spare. Hey! You hear me? What's the matter with them? Maybe they're ashamed they have to say no. All the same, ask. Maybe down there water's running off the walls. You got nothing down there, say so. It's, it's like he has to think of the words. It's like he can't hardly remember how to talk. Nothing. No water. No food. Nothing to help. Goodbye. What? Goodbye? You said you had no way out down there. Got to look. Always got to keep looking. Good luck. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold a minute. Make him wait. Wait down there. Clem. Clem, there's something you got. Something that'd help. Come back. Please. Please. Oh, what are you begging for? Don't he feel bad enough? If he had anything to give, he... Nothing. No water. No food. You got a light. See if you got another one, another light. Even if it would last only a minute. Even, even if we don't get to use it. Just just having it. Y you hear me? I hear you. Could you see? Please. Could you see, Clem? I could see. He's going to ask. Maybe one of them could spare it. Me, it would make a difference. Even if I was dying, I... I light it so that it would go on burning a little afterward. Like, like when my father was laid out in our back room all night long, he had a candle. You don't get a light in your grave. Oh, who cares what you get? You go, you go. Before you go. You know what I mean? This way, this, this place don't become our grave. Not, not till the light goes out. Put your hand down. Breathe. They, they can spare a light. Listen. We're, we're all going to meet on the top, okay? Now, now I'm, I, I'm, I'm putting my hand down now. I'm, I'm putting my hand down. I, 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 I don't feel nothing. We don't reach. Eddie. Ah, I, I, I got it. I, I got it in my grubby little fist. I, I, I wouldn't drop this for... Oh, a stub of candle, a couple of wooden matches. I, I got it. I, I got it, Clem. You'll make it. You'll make it. We'll see you. We'll see you. And I thank you. I thank you all. So, where are we that we weren't before? We're more than three. We're a lot. We're enough so they'll tear the mountain apart to get us out. Hey, stop and think about it. They're a long time coming. How long do you think we've been down here? Batches of guys dying inside a mountain. They're probably arguing who's going to head up the donut committee and the baby hey, hey. You hear that? What? I, I heard something. They coming back? I didn't hear nothing. You were talking. It was, it was different. This time it came from that way. What way? What you talking about? Like the light. Like a hiss. P put your ear down. Uh, we've been over this place with our hands. Are we going to try it with our eyes? I hear something. I don't know. Is it the noise in inside my head? Maybe it's raining on the top. Maybe that's why we hear thunder. Who cares? Light the candle. I'd rather use it trying to stay alive than burning at my weight. Bill Chuck? Who knows what we'll see? All right. All right. One minute of candle, one match. <laughs> Hello, Ilchuk. How are you, Jack? You sound like you found a home. Yeah. Well, I, I'm still going like a trip hammer inside, but it ain't ahead of me. I caught up to it. Something about those guys passing under me like that. We are never going to move this rock. We never, never move this rock. Now, oh, you blow the candle out now. Save it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Keep it. No, no, I haven't got that much. Till I find that hole. 
I hear it. I hear the thunder. There, couldn't you wait? I'm saving it. I told you to keep it burning. You found the hole? You need a light to listen? Water. The mountain's busted open down there. How do you like it? Isn't that great? Listen to it. We're due to die of thirst, and there's tons and tons of water. A flood of it, just when we need it. Just out of reach. Flood. A flood. They'll chop. Maybe they'll find a slope. Maybe the tunnel down there turns uphill. They're drowning down there. They're drowning down there. Maybe not. Maybe they find one good high place. Maybe the water won't rise. It could pour down, back down. That happens sometimes. Pour back in, deep down. The tunnel doesn't fill up. Yeah. Some other time. Not this time. They got to find a high place. High knowledge. Because this time... But it's coming out the hole. It's a gusher. Get your drink, boys. Go on, get your drink before you drown in it. Maybe, maybe they find high place. Uh, uh, up there. Higher in the mountain, higher in the sky. That's the only one good high place you'll chuck. You, you think they'll let us in a couple of dirty miners? We're going deeper. Deeper, you jump where the water is hot. Feel, feel over your head. Get over your head for the highest hole you can find. Eddie, 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 like you can, huh? Now's time. Now, now, let's see if it can burn a little afterwards underwater. <laughs> now, this is the highest. Eddie, have you got a higher one? One for all and all for one. Uh, you got it, you got We all go to get it. All at the same time. From first. You said from first. <laughs> How's Eddie doing, Doc? Yeah, we've got one live one. Breathing by himself, but still out. Can't say yet about the others. Uh, others? You, you get the oh, others? All right, all right, Eddie, it's all right. Uh, others? I, I want to go back for the others. You got your all, Eddie. I told you, we got your all. Yeah, we've been through this twice already, Dan. He keeps talking about others. What others? He, Jack, and Nilchuk were the only ones down there. They're, they're under us. They're, they're waiting for us. Eddie. Uh, Nothing was under you. You were at the lowest point in the mine. Oh, C C Clem McCatrick was there, and, and, and Big Bill saw me, and Eddie Colming. All right, are you uh, conscious now, Eddie? How many fingers? Oh, never mind your fingers. Those guys are down there. Eddie. Doc, wait a minute. Those guys are down there, I tell you. I don't think so, Eddie. Not the way you mean. Maybe you read them on the list somewhere. McCatrick, Big Bill, Colming. Sound like names I heard or read about. Guys long ago who never came up from a mine. They, they were real. Clem was real. I, I touched his fingers through the rock. Eddie, Eddie. Now, once you've had some warm Here. Food, you'll... Here. To me, he said. He gave me this. You this. think he did, Eddie. You know, sometimes the mine plays tricks. Doc, wait a minute. Take a look at them. A little piece of candle some matches. They haven't been made like that, Doc. Not for 75 years. Theater 5 has presented A Little Piece of Candle, written by William Morn and directed by Ted Bell. In the cast, Peter Fernandez, Bajek Shimek, Robert Dryden, Dave Kerman, and William Bassett. Audio engineer, Marty Folia. Sound technician, Ed Blaney. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. We hope you've enjoyed our first drama and invite you to stay tuned for our second play, Captain Gamble's Uniform. This is WLSFM 94.7, your sound decision in Chicago Radio.